And listen, we continue our coverage on the Aransas Pass water ban over the weekend. The city issued the warning due to the possibility of antifreeze in the water supply. Lab tests deemed the water safe for consumption. And our Patrick Johnstone has more tonight on what's next from Aransas Pass. The officials are looking into how to prevent something like this from happening again. Shower with gallons of water. <laughs> That's what my weekend was like. Sam Hornbuckle is the manager at I Love Noodle, one of the restaurants in Aransas Pass that was forced to close because of this weekend's water ban. Hornbuckle said the owners went and bought water when they heard about the advisory. We got cases after cases. As soon as we heard about it, uh, they went out and started buying everything they could. Despite the effort, the health department told the restaurant they couldn't open, forcing them to miss out on a large chunk of weekend sales. They, we lost out on a lot of money as the business, and then all of our staff all missed out on a whole day worth of work, but the waitresses had two days worth of no tips, so it affected them pretty hard. The city and state worked quickly to get water samples sent to two labs for testing. The OK was given Sunday morning. It was Harbor Freight that originally notified the city of a lack of a backflow preventer in the building the business was moving into, a device used to protect potable water supplies from contamination or pollution. And all these years, uh, it's been indicated that uh, everything was OK, that a backflow preventer was in place. That was not the case. You know, we have a lot more inspecting to do. Uh, to make sure that um, uh, it doesn't happen again. City Manager Gary Edwards said he will work with the mayor and city council to make sure ordinances are in place to make sure backflow preventers are in buildings where they are needed. Edwards also said the city is working with TCEQ to get training on preventing something like this from happening again. Reporting in Aransas Pass, Patrick Johnstone, Chris X News.